No, no, I definitely felt the feels too. It, it went it went from like a sad atmosphere to a, a happy, you know, horny atmosphere oh to a to a sad. <laughs> so like you 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 have this roller coaster of emotions, yeah. and it's it's really uh, weird, you know. Like uh, to me, it was weird. Good. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Izuka Podcast. This is the Mushoku Tensei Weekly Review. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Shred. Hello! And we, next up, we have Ku. Yo, yo. All right, so this is second to last episode of this season of Mushoku Tensei. We, got, we just finished this one. We got one more. So, um, again, shout out to everyone who commented. Thanks, guys. And shout out to everyone who uh, commented on the Discord as well. So, always appreciate seeing you there. Yeah, thanks for the comments. The comments were actually really good, guys. I enjoyed our discussions. Uh, let's move on to this episode. When Rudy finally approached his hometown, and it basically was, you know, blown up to smithereens, was, mm-hmm. uh, was this approaching it too fast from the light novel? Or, is this, uh, or did you guys expect it to be this episode? I did not. I actually thought that... Um, I'm pretty sure they would have made it to their hometown, but then I really thought the events would have been played out a lot slower, just kind of explaining what's been going on in the background. Yeah. Because uh, there, there is a lot that's happened, right? Just right. the fact that, uh, you know, like... Rougier was going to leave them at this point, and then you also have the fact that they made it to the old king, Asura Kingdom, and they were going to, you know, meet Elaine, and they were talking about the future of Eris and whatnot, and then um, I kind of thought this was going to be a two-parter in a sense, because you know, with with Eris leaving Rudy, uh, I thought they would have left it at that, and for the end credits, they would have set it up to where, like, oh, you get to see like a little time skip, and then you get to see. Um, like where maybe Eris would have went, you know. Like I, th- I thought they would have done a better transition to the end, but if they left it off here, or if they if they give you one more episode after this, um, I don't know exactly what they plan to expand on without going to the next arc in a sense. I figured that this ending. I figured that when uh, you know, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll get to it later in the in the the podcast. But when he kind of like walked away, I figured that's. I, I felt like I was like, okay, this is probably where. Everybody th- assumed and thought that this was where the season was going to end, but we get mm-hmm. one more episode. Yeah, so we'll we'll see, I guess. <laughs> and then, um, and then I, I just for some reason like just the uh, don't remember like the seven gods, uh, reveal kind of like where we like, where we knew there were seven gods, or if we were, I completely forgot about it. When it was like the the human god and dragon god, but I don't. And then you said not all seven have been revealed yet. Yeah, and I I don't think uh that I don't know if it was like a mistranslation or whatever, but uh. I don't think there's actually seven gods, like actual gods. There is seven powers which are considered god tier, and maybe that's what tar- they're talking about. That's probably what it is. Because right? he mentioned the man god, which is an actual god deity, right? Mm-hmm. And then you mentioned the dragon god, who's not really a deity. He's, you know, a, a human being in this world, but he's known as the dragon god. So I don't know if it was a mistranslation or, or what. But I think it should be more fair to say it's the seven. What two of the seven powers have been revealed, or something like that. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, because like, cause they they uh, they said yeah, that earlier they said like during when they're like on the wagon, where we're, like they were talking about like the the seven powers, or whatever. So I think that's what mm-hmm. that's why I assumed that they were talking about this episode too, like this seven powers. I didn't really think of it much other than that. So, but they haven't named the seven po- like all seven powers in yet, right? Only a couple. No, but like they mentioned, they they, like they have the titles mentioned. Down. Or from yeah. earlier. Yeah, when they're in the wagon, like uh, you know, there's the the North God, the Dragon God, the Technique God, uh, oh, the Demon God. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know. that's that's what I was thinking too. Like, so I didn't I didn't think too much about it. Okay. Yeah. So either either or misinterpreting what Ruger is saying, or the subs were just off. I guess. Gotcha. The the one thing that was uh that you also kind of noticed from, well, I I kind of it was just like a little bit that I found about like or just I noticed of Ruger. With just about how anything that Rudy kind of like really said or decided that Rougier really didn't fight it. He basically just either believed him or just kind of went with it. Like mm-hmm. uh, with the whole thing with, I thought there was going to be kind of like more of a of a kickback when 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 Rougier was talking to Rudy about how, you know, like about the about the man god. And then he explained like the whole situation about how like the curse was placed on the spear. And then it was basically like it started disappearing when he shaved his head. And, and uh, Rougier mm-hmm. just like, oh my god, really? And didn't even like really fight it. Like he completely believed him, and just you know didn't even say like you know you're lying to me. 
It said basically uh-huh. just break, just uh, I'm assuming just break down tears was just basically happy that it was actually uh, that he'll he can finally start. Um, I guess feeling I, I don't know if it's just I don't know if redemption is the correct word where it's just uh, or being able to just well, kind of mingle along yeah. without being That's completely cool. terrified, like tearing terrifying everybody. Mm-hmm. So like the flashbacks actually helped me out because one I forgot that he had what he looked like when he had the full set of hair. Yep, it was like <laughs> it's been a while, so I totally forgot. That's what he looked like. Yep. And then also, I forgot too that like earlier when they first met, that like he, like he, him, he basically like yeah, he argued a lot of what Rudy was like saying like, like how and like and some some of it like earlier like he did cause like some some people to die because of his decisions. So so mm-hmm. I I did forget about those things and how like how so much has changed since they met. So that was that was a good flashback for me. Like like really brought into perspective like all the changes that begin for like what two years now mm-hmm. so yeah it's not that it was really good and then for some reason i didn't act, i completely also forgot that about uh what the original deal was between rudy and rougeard where where like he basically he was going to be escorting them until the he until they got to their hometown and then yep. when that whole situation came i was like oh shit that's right this is this was actually the deal but i thought mm-hmm. like no 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 it's not gonna happen i was like they're too close of a I, party they're just gonna travel I, <laughs> yeah, I thought, just, I, I, I thought I thought I thought it was just gonna be like, well, I made it this far, I might as well just go all the way with you guys. Yeah, but, yeah can just keep uh, following them and just you know just uh, going going to different towns and places. Unless he thought that that was basically like the final destination that they weren't gonna go anywhere after that. Even though I'm uh-huh. pretty sure Rudy probably told Rougier that you know his mom's still missing and he'd probably go on a on another quest yeah. anyway. I was I was thinking though that like also he kept saying like, well, you guys like you're not kids anymore. So I think because he. Like they like because they grow up so much. Like he, I guess he doesn't think of them as kids anymore. And also, like you know, like like Rudy was twelve when he met him. So like, just it has been a few like, years. Yeah, was he twelve? So I, I thought he was I, ten. He was twelve, wasn't he? Because I think or it's been a three-year th- journey back. I don't remember exactly. Is I don't remember the beginning. So it was, was like, like, like it, was, it was Rudy's tenth birthday, right? That's why he got that staff, and then they were gonna go test it out, and then that's when the whole family happened. Yes, yeah. And then now that Eris is uh, Eris is fifteen, and you have to remember that Eris is two years older than Rudy. That was oh, a year. She, I, I, I thought, thought she was, she was a only year. a year older. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's two years older, I believe. Okay. okay. I always, that's why I was confused about the ages. Cause I always thought she was only a year older. Okay, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, so after that, basically, I cheered up a little bit. But then we also, but then we got back to was it Eris's? I'm assuming place. Oh, yeah. Hometown, yeah, which yeah, is basically yeah. just no, uh, absolutely nothing besides like, just tents. Uh, uh, the, the, the name I always forget until Ku brought up the Asura. I think it's the Asura Kingdom. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Sure, but I, I don't know. I never remember it. So, <laughs> oh, we yeah. got to see Galen. So that was actually uh So yeah. I'm surprised she was, she was actually there. I thought she was gonna be like missing. Oh, like, yeah, I feel people. So. I feel like she could basically just brute strength through everything or anything she wants to and just get back easy. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> basically, because it, it just sounds like she's uh she's pretty OP compared to the majority of the people. And then um, yeah, but, when... but like you don't know, you don't know. Like, I was like, like thinking like just the teleport would be like RNG and you just never knew where she was gonna yeah. end up in. So just... but I guess it has been also been a long time. So I guess they would make it back. She would make it back before yeah. Rudy and Aris did. Dude, just think of like how sick of a party that would have been. Uh, was Rudy, Rougier, Aris, and uh, Galen. If mm-hmm. if you know all four united, that'd have been pretty awesome. So I was expecting kind of like when Aris kind of when I found out about like the deaths, I was expecting it to be. Uh, I guess a lot more emotional, or a lot more like in my mind, you know, because we I mentioned before, where I I pictured this season ending with her finding out the deaths and just you know doing like the anime scream and then just fade to black and then the you know, end scene, but it wasn't like that. Yeah, okay, I, I I mean I just stick with that because that was your prediction strand, and I've been I've been wrong so many times, so like well, I didn't have much to go off, but well. like, but I mean <laughs> this part like. I actually, I actually wasn't, I wasn't that surprised because like I, we saw that when like when she was dealing with Rudy and his dad, we saw how like how mature she's been. And she and like and he was Rudy was warning her too, like saying you know like your hometown, you know it's gonna be a lot of hard things to to swallow about it. And then she was saying I'm ready, you know I you don't have to like yep. you don't have to like hide me the truth, whatever. So if you think about that part, like yeah, it make, it, it makes sense that like she, I mean she still she still like had to be left alone and still cried, but like she still like it wasn't as devastated because like she was expecting it already so yeah Aries is awesome 
not too surprised about the outcome here. So the other deaths. So I remember the grandpa, but I I, I forgot to look at the names before the podcast. What were the other ones? Eris's I father and mother. Parents. Okay, so yeah, where so where was them? Oh yep. my god. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know for sure, but I was I assume like like who would know, and I was assuming it was mm-hmm. the parents anyways. Yeah, so like I said, I really I really thought that this is where they're gonna end it, right? Because when Rujan and them made it to Rudy's hometown and then the way they departed, I kinda thought that was gonna get its own episode because it's such a like close party member to them. And then for them to just leave him like that, I felt like they didn't do it justice, right? They didn't give him enough airtime because this is the guy that got it them from the demon continent all the way here. You know, he's taught them everything. They they grew up together, like, you know, in a sense. Um, you know, they both finally came like like they they both upheld their part of the deal, right? Mm-hmm. So Rudy basically kind of like helped restore the uh, the reputation of the the spirits, mm-hmm. and then like you know Ruja was able to bring them back to their uh, continent uh, safely. So I really thought that they were gonna put more emphasis on like Ruja's like impact on the party, but I feel like they didn't do it justice by just having to leave halfway. Um, and then what the part of them making it back to the Assur Kingdom and they're like, you know, like Rudy and Eris hooking up or whatever and then her leaving. I really thought that was going to be its own episode because I think that deserves its uh, its 20 minutes as well. Just because, you know, you don't get to see like Eris' thought process. Like she says that she was prepared for the fact that, you know, her family would have been dead when she made it back. Uh, you know, there's the thought process of like what maybe could have happened to Kalein. I thought maybe they would explain that a little bit more, more about what happened to Eris' his, his parents as well. And I feel like they 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 put two episodes together when it should have into one when it should have been you know two episodes separately. So which again, like we like we have one more episode next week. So yeah, yeah. It's very weird. Guys, it's okay, man. I still felt the feels. No, no, I definitely <laughs> felt the feels too. It, it went it went from like a sad atmosphere to a, a happy, you know, horny atmosphere oh to a uh, to a sad. <laughs> so like you 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 have this roller coaster of emotions, yeah. and it's it's really uh, weird, you know. No. Like to me, it was weird. Dude, I think I think you I think you can expect <laughs> you can already uh, predict my thoughts on it. It's yeah. just I could not take any of that seriously, just because like, man, God damn it, Rudy, you just it, like because because like like the moment it was happening, it was like they tried to make it so serious with like the montage and mm-hmm. all the flashbacks, but then like <laughs> Rudy like just had to be his you know his his, hor- his horny thirty five year old self. And it's like oh, I mean, I well, thought well, it was pretty end. At, at the end, I guess it, it kind of just drove you back into the the humor factor, right? They're the trying gl- to go for the comedic route, the thing. but at, right. <laughs> But then I, I think uh, I think the actual uh, the actual way that they interpreted the the scene with Rudy Harris, I thought that they did it really well. Oh yeah, I thought it was good. Like I thought it was actually yeah. really tame for what could have happened with uh, the standards of Mushoku Tensei. I actually really mm-hmm. liked how it happened. At first, just because I've watched so many shows where you have like the rom coms and whatnot, where you know nothing ever happens until the end. So I thought like this mm-hmm. isn't gonna happen. I was like I was like Rudy, Rudy like Rudy's gonna be mature in this situation. They're just gonna kind of forget about it. And then mm-hmm. uh, was it that Aries just kind of kept you know approaching it very mature, like a lot more mature, until you know her, her little saying with the or her line, her, her line that she got from Galen. Uh, I, I was just I, I just started laughing. Bro, at it, that wasn't point. From, it wasn't from uh, Galen. It was from her mom. Oh, was it really? Oh, I thought for some reason like she heard it from Galen or something. Pretty sure it was she, a, she, she it was a cat. From her mom. It was a cat thing. No, yeah, I do remember her saying something about her mom, but I just I for some reason thought it skipped at some point. But in my mind during this entire time, I'm thinking like this isn't gonna happen, right? Right? There's no way. And then it happened, I mean, but then just that stupid line. Just, I yeah, don't know. But... I thought it was good. It was a good callback. And then I mean, <laughs> and then like Rudy just sat in the morning, like Dude, I don't fucking know. Hilarious. Like... <laughs> He's a normie now, guys. Dude, yeah. The, the hilarious part about that stuff too is like, oh man, it feels great. He's like, oh, why are you looking so glum? And then even though this guy lost everything, and I was yeah. like, and like, I was like, that's just ridiculous. And then they show like the, the like another couple, like, ah, oh, yes, I'm one of you now. Dude, that 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 karma, like right after that, Dude, he went oh back to his tent. That God. Was, that I was did rough. not expect that from. Uh, I mean, that's again another thing that was not expected. It definitely mm-hmm. would have uh, seen more of like a Rudy move, but it was not. It was actually uh, the whole thing, and then the party is split again. And then it's just uh-huh. like, literally like you had like every like it because it feels bad because I was just talking shit about this guy last episode, and I feel uh-huh. bad about him. And it was it just like I don't know that whole the whole th- situation of how it was done. I thought was was just hilarious, and it was it was, it was awesome. Uh-huh. Re- reaction ten out of ten. But I but then it just immediately felt terrible when Aries was basically when like what the note was saying about how like I don't feel like we're like we're ready yet, and then about uh-huh. how it's like she's going on a mission with Glane. I thought, god damn, lucky. 
So now we don't get to see that. And literally that now Rudy's alone. Overnight. Lost yep. everyone. In a sense. Yep. I mean they're still alive, but you know, they're somewhere else. But it just felt bad, man. <sighs> felt bad. That was, that was rough, man. Yep. <laughs> it was rough. Yep. Yeah, basically when the the whole thing because you knew that she was doing like a new a new start because I think like the whole thing is basically like a haircut kind of uh, mm-hmm. signifies that it's gonna be like a, a new beginning in a sense. <sighs> David, where do you, where do you think Ares and Gawain went off to? I was gonna. I have I, I have some thoughts, and I, but I just wanted to know your I thoughts. I didn't think much of it because I was thinking like oh, she said she went thought. to a train, so ah, like I thought there's a mission, like, sir. <laughs> there's a mission. Because I, I I wasn't I wasn't thinking she was gonna go help like Rudy like find his his mom or whatever. I thinking I think she thinks that, like that's that's their thing to do. So I I'm assuming like maybe she'll find like someone stronger to like to to train her because she still wants to like she still wants to fight. She still hasn't like officially been um Rujard in a fight, so I think she really just wants to like train and like get stronger than that. But like gotcha. even before that though, I was thinking like because she I don't forget who the butler guy was, but like he was saying like, you know, you, you gotta be like a concubine to like to save your people, or whatever. But it's like I don't know, like for for Eris, like I'm just thinking like the only other thing I think is she's just gotta be like like strong enough for herself and just like become like an, like an army leader and just like just make her own like make her own kingdom or whatever and like that way she doesn't have to deal with like the other lords. For me, so I, that's that's yeah. For for me, I initially thought that uh, at, at first before all these kind of things like things happen, I think Ares would have gone with Rudy if you know like let's say her her hometown and everything was just per, you know perfect. But then, I mean, when obviously when she finds out that her grandpa and parents died, because she does actually mention, you know, to Rudy during, um, like, or the the night before about how she is wanting a family, and uh, where so she was having like those kind of feelings, and I I just assumed that that when she went off with Galen, I, I just figured she was going to go on a mission to, uh, find out who was actually responsible for for everything, and because you know the, the grandpa for some reason was taken was take or had to take the blame for what happened. When I think uh-huh. Glenn and Ares know that that's just a bunch of bullshit, so I think they're going to be, in a sense, probably training to get you know training as they get to uh, like go along with it or try to figure out like what's what's going on, or even if Ares has to do like some undercover work where even if she has to become whoever the hell that person's a uh, uh, love interest. Well, I don't even know who the guy was the the, the name that they mentioned. But it oh, was, he's not brought up yet. But it's another one of the gray rats. Okay, yeah. So basically, when that when that thing happened, I thought like, no, no. They're they're gonna get uh they're gonna get some redemption and <laughs> murder a couple people, so that's where yeah, I, that's where I thought that they were going. Uh-huh. But the whole thing now though that I actually don't know is but then once when Rudy then walks starts walking away and just starts bawling, I thought like damn this definitely felt like where I was actually afraid the season was gonna end right there, and uh-huh. but then luckily we have one more episode. <laughs> so, I mean, because yeah. I because I want. You know, like just what what Ku was saying, just like how last episode for Turning Point, like there's so much things that weren't that were being left out, and then now you're saying this one should have been two episodes. So it's like mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on with like with the storyboarding here, because like because and then because make it sound like next week's episode, like whatever it is, it's just kind of like it's not gonna be a good a good conclusion. It's just gonna be like, just kind of like like a, like oh, a no, see, I, didn't, I didn't throw that out there. I didn't throw that out there. <laughs> It's there's oh, okay. still potential to save it. Yeah, I thought I'm it was just set surprised up. that they didn't end it here. I thought it was going to set up for like the next season. I, I mean, it's I feel like I mean, I mean that's that, that's all. I mean, that's I don't know. Because like after like the ending, like the get right here, it's like yeah, it's hard to top that as like an ending. So mm-hmm. I'm I mean I'm thankful that I didn't end there. <laughs> I would have been pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think the so, the silver probably just just tease us of like what's to come. So. Like, yeah, because if, if they would if they would have split up to two episodes, right? So if if this if this episode would have been more focused on like uh you know like Rudy waking up, you know, realizing what's happened, right? Maybe summarize a little bit about like that dream, how uh like what that like foretells, uh, and then afterwards talking with Ruger and maybe you know seeing the conversation that they have between Hirogami and the Dragon God and what may have caused Rudy to do what he did and maybe explained like hey this is why I talked to you in the first place Ruger like the man God told me to talk to you and help you out and that's why I did what I did and then you know when they make it to the village when when Ruger and Rudy and Eris like they part ways like you could have ended like this episode with that and then next episode you see them walk into their Sur Kingdom and of course 
you know, you see what you see here. But with that extra five to ten minutes, maybe they could have expanded the scene a little bit more and then set that up for the ending of the season and have you ready for next season's arc, right? So, 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 so what were the parts that were there? Like, what were the major parts that were kind of cut out then to uh, for this episode from like what they cut out from the light novel? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think there was too much cut out that would have made much of a difference. It would have okay. been more of just like slight details to kind of build up uh, the feels even more. Right, okay, right. Gotcha. So okay, well, yeah. I mean, at least I'm glad for that. Then that they didn't actually skip over anything major, besides mm -hmm. just make me feel even worse than uh, I did when everybody departed from each other. <laughs> right. So I might have missed a couple of things, but like in all honesty, I don't think we really missed much. I just think that they're just pacing it too fast. So gotcha. I have a, I have two uh, ideas as to how they're going to do the next episode, but um, I I think it would have been better if they ended it here, honestly. But we'll, we'll see. Well, we'll then, see. Th then last last week's episode, then they could split that into two parts too. Then just like, no, that's what I, that's what I'm saying as well. You know, like they're going yeah. really fast. The the past two episodes could have been four episodes, honestly. So I'll see. I'll be the judge. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I'll be the judge how this the next episode ends. But I I think that was really uh, all the main parts that I wanted to hit. Hopefully, I didn't forget anything. But uh, if, if so, let us know in the comments. Yeah, or let Discord, us know whichever. what you predict's going to happen next episode. Because the anime only, please. Yeah, anime only. I don't think <laughs> I don't think these guys have any ideas, so it, it's up in the air right now. Like I have I no mean, idea. Basically, like, my because my season my season ending was what just happened, and we have one episode. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the only thing okay, like I mean, the most immediate things like because he found he found the letter for, or he found that that Sylvie was also missing. So I assume. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be the focus on like the next arc because we, because this whole thing was with Eris, and then we had a little bit with Roxy, but like, we, like Rudy didn't meet Roxy. But Roxy knows about Rudy, so uh -huh. I think I don't think we're gonna see her for a while. So uh, the next one is just Sophie, and then I don't know, I don't know, like I, I don't know if the mom is gonna like be a sh shown like in the street in like this in just like the show, or just gonna be like a, a off thing with just with Paul finding her. Oh, you mean Zenith, Rudy's mom? Yeah, Zenith. So okay. like, yeah, I, I don't things, think, yeah. I don't, but still, that's like the most immediate thing. But then, like, I'm still like, we still gotta know like what the hell is going on with the teleporting spell. Like, why I Lapis like cast it or whatever? What's going on with, like the castle? I feel like and that's, also like uh, I feel like that's gonna happen once everybody's found. And then you, I feel like the, trying to find these people is the first that, objective. But that's like that's like the main thing. The the first main like thing like the final going quest. on in the background yep. it's just like i don't think it's the final quest but it's like the more immediate one is like and then also i'm still curious why like why lapis casted cast a curse on the, the spirits anyways so it's like it's going more into that story so there's a lot going on in this world fellas so so, 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 so I, I don't i don't know like how when we'll get to that part that, that's like that's kind of like the big big reveal that I'm waiting for, just like the whole thing of Lapless and like what's what's his deal and like and the Lapless will like how he's the Lapless will happen when uh when they meet up with Rouget again. And then and then so that's that's, that's, right, that's like the right. first one because 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 then like later on we still have like the the, the beef between like like Orchid and and the Hitogami as well. So I think that's like I think that's like a way later thing. So I'm just I'm just waiting for Lapless. Yep. I think finding the people is uh priority number one. You gotta move to the next waifu and uh make me like that one too. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm and I'm not gonna lie, I did buy uh I, I did buy Rudy's figure of Roxy. I have it on pre order. Did you really? I had to do it. How much was it? I had to do it. Uh, I got it from uh um Ami Ami. It was way it was a, it was a lot cheaper from other sites. Like one thirty. Oh, it was like around one thirty something. Legit, then. Hopefully it's legit. Oh it's I mean it's Ami Ami. You mean legit Amiami. like you know where like the same thing as a show? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, I, I hope so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I mean, if it happens, so. it happens. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> yes. Because that tweet leaves you leaves you with some hope. That oh it's, yeah. That it's legit. It's be a giant so. debate. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's okay. It's the same size as my Aries figure, so we're fine. It'll be the okay. same scale. And then later on, I'll get the other ones. I'm sure too. Uh, I'm sure that yeah. this show will make me like them as well. But yeah, so far, sure. uh, there's there a lot of uh, foreshadowing with this episode too. A lot of hints as to what may happen, and then. Another thing, I don't know if you guys remember seeing, but, uh, you know, Rudy's about to level up. Uh, basically, what, what Rudyard mentioned with, like, oh, you fought with a god now, right? Like a person of god, god tier skills. You know, use that, 
in a sense to better yourself. Oh right. So right, yeah. so Eris uh, is going to grow I, stronger. I, oh hell and yeah. Then, and she's and with really, Gawain. She's with Gawain as well. Right. I, I, I thought I, th- uh, I thought he was specifically mentioning Aerith just because yeah, like me too. talking about like her warrior skills. I didn't yep. know. I don't know. I didn't know if he knew well, anything about like how. Yeah, he, he didn't really. And, like, magic. Uh, it was it was more it was more related towards towards Aerith, but with that statement, you can kind of see that Rudy it, is going to get stronger as well because he would fought make sense. against. He did fight too, right? Yeah. And when he was He's on the horse, learn... he was trying to learn that nullification, the magic nullification yeah, skill. Oh, right. I was, was going to bring that. I was going to bring that up too. Yeah, he was trying to learn that nullification. Yeah. Stuff. So I assume he'll he'll get he'll eventually like learn it yeah so big hints in the future that they're going to get stronger just because of that one encounter so like there's there's a lot of things that's going on here that's uh that makes us like happy of how they're going to grow as a character so um we'll I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Out. Yeah. yeah i'm just waiting for the next uh, the next episode uh, for next week where they say oh season two revealed or, or uh, season two in the works or something like announced. that yeah. announced yeah, yeah. yeah. anything mm-hmm. please and then don't i, I would Prefer it to be six months out. Please, not a year. Don't do that. Uh, I mean, there's yeah. lots to work with. So, because honestly, like a lot they'd have to do. Because this yeah, episode, yeah, remi- yeah, like this, this, re- this episode just kind of like I got the feel about. It, I was like, damn, I almost don't want to like read the main, the like the main thing because the main thing because I had no clue what was gonna like what was happening, what was gonna be like the the choices. It was fun, but mm-hmm. it would also be really nice to know what the hell is gonna happen. <laughs> So I'm really torn. <laughs> it's, it's hit and miss. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's really hit and miss. Yeah, I'm so. really torn. Sorry, David. Go ahead. That was the final thing I said. Oh no, I'll just say this. This this second part was delayed from summer to fall. So I don't. Dude. I don't. I won't get. I won't get your hopes up for it. Why can't be bad news, David? Why can't be bad news? Did uh, you not just see news? what we saw? I was just, oh, I was just giving you a reminder, sir. Thanks, yeah. man. So you, you can go to so bed we'll, now. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Cause like as as a person that's usually just anime only, um, you know, I gotta admit, like I miss just discovering it week by week. Yeah, um, it was fun listening so, to your uh, theories, <laughs> theory crafting. Yeah, was fun. yeah, it's it, it's rough, man. But I, I do love the fact that I, that's fine. Yeah, I know, I know. But I, I do love <laughs> the fact that I that I'm re enjoying it in its animated form with the voice actors and everything. Yeah. So it's kind of just like revisiting a, a loved story so well, it helps you know, us, I, I like it it helps so. us in these discussions as well too to basically like what they missed like what were the major parts and stuff um just to kind of give us that's more of a others are, that's what others are for yeah, we don't I, need. I mean, i'm just saying like you know it, it'll make us like uh so we, we want to go back to like the original source and like re- read over like what we missed hmm. or hopefully the ovas co- uh, cover it as well anyway Dude, I, I, one OVA, I hope they do OVA, so yeah they, they have they have an ova uh in the works no no There's, more yeah, more it, oh right 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 yep i agree I would like a full season of OVAs. Maybe. Uh, you know. <laughs> full season, then it will be an OVA then, sir. Bro, <sighs> yeah. oh, you have no idea. Yeah, if only you knew. You have no idea. <laughs> but no. anyway, that's all I got. That's all I got. I right. can't wait for next week's yeah. episode. Right, season nothing. finale, right? So, oh, God. Yeah, I'm right. excited we're for right. it. I'm going to be depressed. Here, so, yep. basically, ready for the finale. Yeah. We're waiting. Multiple Basically all fields. year for this. Oh god, yeah, it's gonna be tough fields, man. It's been so long. It's been so long since winter twenty twenty one. So I've been waiting a long time. Yes, yes. Anyway, right in here for your, uh, thanks everyone for for listening. Uh, was, again, uh, for your comments and have strength by to it. So. Hey, who's there as well? No, oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I started. I started to happen last last week's yeah. episode. So yeah. yeah. So thanks, so, Lucas, tell us as you... well too. Lucas, you've had a lot of good comments as well. Yeah, so yeah, tell us what you think. Um, get how how excited you are for the finale. We'll do Hell this yeah. one more time next week. So we'll see you guys then later. Bye. Bye. Bye.